A story for your pleasure? Nuts and b- When the ancient clans made war, many champions were cast down in battle. Their weapons were hidden in deep barrows, where few men dared to travel. Yet Garanos and Wormskull felt no fear of these places, nor of curses of terrible woe. These brothers uncovered the Pearl of Power, which, according to legend, could bring life to arcane inventions. Wormskull was cheated from the glory of this prize, for Garanos seized it at once. The Pearl was taken away, for safekeeping, he'd say, and was delivered to the king. Choose your mage. Wormskull, the Artificer. The king did grant audience to hear tell of the tale of how Garilo sought out the pearl. But this account was cut short, for when proof was requested, there was nothing to be presented. It was Wormskull's intention to use the pearl for inventions which he constructed at home in his lair. And it was there that Garanos eventually found him. You are now entering the Hall of Wonder. You win when Garanos has no followers. You lose when you have no followers. Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Blood Magic. Nuts and bolts red. Um, this is the second time attempting to record this because the first time, oh my god, it matched, lasted about an hour and a half and then eventually crashed, so all life gave up on me. So I know what I'm going to be doing now this time, so hopefully it'll go better. I uh, haven't recorded in a while. Uh, I was at sea for about a week and then doing other uh, Navy crap, so I was sailing Sea State 6, which I don't know how, I don't remember how big the waves are, but it's, it's not fun. Um, I don't get seasick like I used to when I first started sailing, but uh, any, that, that would make even the most hardy of guys feel a little bit shitty. At least you'll probably just end up getting a headache and maybe a little bit of a, a little bit queasy, but that, eh. Anyways, it sucks. I never sailed before when I joined the Navy, and then I decided, well, when we went on our very, very first sail, we sailed with old fuck. That's right, we sailed with old fucks. faster than last time they rushed but luckily the dummy's stepping on the blood forge, yeah. Um, yeah, the first time I sailed, I sailed, we went to sea with a bunch of RMC cadets, which is Royal Military College of Canada. It's pretty much like the military university Warrior has been killed. that you would go to in order to uh, qualify for officer without, without actually having to go to university, because you can either be an officer or a peasant, and being a peasant is like a normal day job. But being an officer, you get more money and you get like the respect or whatever the hell that I have to do. Salute and shit. Gorgon! Holy fuck. Okay. Can you leave me alone? Don't hit me. I already got rushed by a warrior. I don't want to get rushed by a Gorgon too. The problem with this map is fucking spawns all the way up here, anyways. Uh, yeah, so we sailed with a bunch of about, uh, I want to say 80 to 100 RMC cadets, Navy cadets. To show them what life at sea was like, and holy shit, it was it was like a battle zone in there. There was just puke everywhere. People were puking. There's so many people puking. Oh my god, there's so many people puking in the bathrooms. Like like when you'd walk in, each person was puking in the toilet. So the last and and the other two guys were puking in the sink. So you had no choice but to just puke on the floor where the scupper is. And it was really bad. And then they decided to do like fire drills and stuff with some of the people. So some of the guys were like puking in their uh, firefighters' masks and stuff like that. And holy fuck. I got seasick because that was my first time at sea. I didn't take any gravel. I didn't do any preparation whatsoever. I had a really shitty breakfast and I was like, ah, I can take it. I'm a man. Went out there and holy fuck, I was crippled. There's like no worse feeling. Like if you get the stomach flu, that sucks. But at least you're like, you're home in bed and. You can kind of like sleep it off, but when you're at sea, you can't because you're at sea. The, 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 the movement of the sea is what's making you sick. So, oh, for fuck's sakes. Your followers are under attack. That's fucking so annoying. Stop rushing me. Um, 
It's the disease what's making you sick, so you can't you can't escape. You can't, <laughs> luckily, we can't. We only did a day sale, so we're out for like five hours, and then we came back in. Otherwise, it would have been really bad. But it sucks if you do get seasick and you don't realize it, and you go on a trials run or a, an actual mission, and then you're stuck out there for sometimes a month. And if you feel, if you're seasick, then it's just there's no no chance. But you're just gonna sit there and suffer. Like we're gonna out of here. So the enemy spawns with an absolute metric fuck ton of stuff, and it's really frustrating because you're so ill-equipped, and the only units you get are shit. No, wizards, and wizards are crap against warriors. Stoned. Ha! Huh. Insert joke here. So the only real strategy I have is to plus the building is so far away that it's. It's a pain in the ass to get to. So what, there's a, an enemy barracks right here. So what I try to do is butt rush it with a pile of stone or uh, basil golems and kill it. And then build my own building there, to which I built a crypt, which is good against warriors, but it's absolutely heinous against priests or clerics. Because the enemy gets unlimited mana in this level, which means he can literally heal until, like, as long as the computer runs. And I think that's what made the game crash, just because the computer was healing so fast. Because I had uh, five zombies tanking, or like, hitting one cleric, and the cleric was, he killed all five of them because he just kept healing, and he, I could not break through. It was the most retarded thing I've ever seen in this game. A big, a big uh, proof of imbalance between the computer and the not computer, and me. I didn't know this was a stockpile. The only, way, yeah, the only way to get to this building is not right here, like you'd expect. You have to go all the way down here, which is like adjacent to another enemy building, in order to get out there. So that's Gorgon's leaving. There's no Juggernaut in this level either. There's a Juggernaut in the blue campaign, but not in this level. And it would be really nice, because Juggernaut really helped me out. I was able to, I killed so many units and like lost and spawned so many dudes that I was able to research like a fucking wraith on this one level. It was crazy. And now this warrior's coming after me. Ugh. They butt rushed my building last time too, so even if I wanted, like, it, 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 honestly, I swear to God, like, the exact same thing beat for beat Your is happening as I'm doing this right now. I sent one basil golem up. And they already had a warrior up there, and then a warrior was following me, and a third warrior, so... Sweet. Alright, two warriors. It's not beat for beat, it's even worse. Holy fuck. Fuck the first mission in all these games is really annoying. I'm using that potion because I'm just gonna die, and... Berserk myself. Berserk makes me immortal, but I eventually die of time. It gives me plus one move and plus one attack, and enemies can't do damage to me, so I'm taking that potion because I don't want the enemy to get it, because they're gonna get it. And uh and the berserker potions hopefully weaken them a little bit. This Gorgon's got to fuck off because I can't leave my base right now. Insufficient mana. Runestone has been destroyed. Last time the runestone had mana orb right there. Oh, see, look, I got a kill. Yeah. Actually, what I can try and do is maybe wall off, <laughs> like clog up this place so these three warriors can't come out and. Back their dudes up. They're gonna leave it all. Oh, don't hit take. Yeah, I have to attack that. What's he making here, Cleric? Okay. Definitely gonna go warriors this time around. So. Under attack. Okay, let's try and tank this cleric here. Oh, he's got a fucking salve. 
healing song. Yeah, everyone pronounce it. how colossally bad these attacks have been going. Has been killed. Look at all these dudes! And this guy's fucking dan having to dance. Just recycle him. I can't even I can't even deal with this bullshit right now. I need these guys to go on the offensive. I need to kill something. Cause look at all this. Fucking five warriors, two basic golems, and clerics. More basic golems. Now he's berserk. Basil Golem has been killed. Back. again. Okay, let's move out with another six guys. What I managed to do before, like, different attacks, I was able to isolate certain units like warriors and maybe get, get a pick off one here and one there. The old predator style, separate them from the group. Unfortunately, that one didn't go so well. I like Gorgon's there. Okay, so I've six guys here. Let's see. So I can prop. I can almost take on. Oh, there's only that guy's really, really weak. So let's uh, let's take him out. Your followers see, he's going for my base. Attack. Nice. Fury. So that's a free kill for him, unfortunately. Oh, he's going up there. Oh, okay. That's what he feels like. Been killed. I'll leave that guy up here. Oh. God, bitch. Why does the Gorgon have to camp me out? I might have to kill this thing. Unless... No, it doesn't go after the war, of course it doesn't go after the warrior. Just fucking freezing all my dudes. All these frozen basils. There we go. Gorgon has been killed. I might be able to. I might 
be able to sneak me up here again. Basil Golem has been killed. Enemy warrior has been killed. Some warrior down, come on. Every warrior dead is good for me. God damn, basil golems are so shit. Like, you couldn't make them a little bit more resilient. Give them three armor. Yes, come attack me. I don't mind this at all. I can just pick you guys off one at a time. And should I? I might have to just try and sneak up to that building. As much as I'd like to, just like your followers are under attack. Having a really weak dude up here is causing the enemy to be a lot more aggressive and try to not finish him off, which is nice for me. I don't think these long tables have anything in them, so I'm just going to go and attack this thing. Your followers are under attack.
get a warrior down. Been okay, killed. okay. Cleric's doing his thing. Uh, I might need to start rebuilding a fucking little wall here. Two warriors out of this, and then I can. Your followers are under attack. Oh man. Off back home. Got a train on the move. Things are looking okay right now. Nice. Your followers are under attack. So unfortunately, I wanted to just spawn them down there, but this is the safest route because I can't push through. I can't <laughs> outmatch their units again like I did last time. I had to do like five ways of six bases get anything fucking close to me. Just to destroy their building, then I couldn't even get my own building there for another, like, 20 minutes. So I'm just taking care of that warrior. Transform. Bears, go. Warrior, go. Warrior, go. Woo! Now we're cooking with oil. That'll hopefully... Oh shit! Then we'll take care of the uh, cleric problem. Your warrior is ready. Your followers That's a good are way to under fucking attack. attack my weakened dudes. Your warrior is ready. There we go. Three move fighting units. Finally, finally, finally. Let's go fucking clear a path. Furies. Ass! Oh, come on, warrior. Come on. It was that guy, too. Alright, let's take out this cleric. There we go. Nice damage. Enemy cleric has 
has been killed. Good, good. Are in danger. Maybe I can get away with Spy Warrior. Hopefully, this cleric doesn't like move positions. been killed. Don't fight me yet. Hide down here for now. <laughs> Your warrior is ready. Uh oh. Enemy cleric has been killed. They see they have a building now, now they're panicking. Escape. One on one, these uh, warrior, eh? Go, 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 go. He's doing it. Yes, keep coming. Enemy ha. warrior awesome. has been killed. Has been I'll just go recycle him here. Save it again, right quick, just in case I crash again. Is ready. Enemy there we go. Has been killed. Warriors is a way better chance choice than uh Enemy Zazel's Golem has been killed. Those clerics are just a massive pain in the ass. Warriors do a whole extra damage to them. Alright, stand you there, boys. Up you go. Mason mix. There's so many Mason mixes in this map. Isn't it? Stupid. Your warrior is ready. Your followers are under attack. Your warrior has been killed. Your 
warrior is ready. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. health, but I'm going to keep him around because if he gets one or two swings, I'm in good shape. He, he will have paid for himself in value. Mason mixes in demon shields. Or demon's banes, lots of those. What, can I, what I can eventually do is take control of their blood forge, which is on the left hand of the map. And then I can just control their population and then, oh, nice, there's a weak guy, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's amazing. My entire being is so aroused right now because of that. Wow, only one guy got to swing off, these fucking idiots are just dancing around like morons. Attack. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. Coming at me with a warrior, eh? Your warrior is ready. Oh, just killed his metapod. Has been yes, killed. I got it. Enemy warrior has been killed. Nah, I don't need to destroy these buildings. Enemy Golem has been killed. Awesome. I'm controlling the population a lot better than I did last time. Like I couldn't believe it last time, man. Fucking one cleric was just was beating like five zombies on his own. Like, oh my god, it was nuts. I'm oh, hitting side. One of these guys is weakening. Shit, one of these guys is weaker. He's got nine health, yeah. Your warrior is ready. Ooh, that's a lot of basic bones over there. Who's got the healing self, this guy? On the move. Your followers are under attack. <laughs> Basil Golem has been killed. Your Basil Golem Oops. has been killed. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. Stone golems also. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. So this is her temple here, so I'm just gonna reveal the map around it so I just know there's no sneaky basil golems. Oh, they're heading over to their barracks. Okay, I got a lot of warriors here. Your warrior is ready. So actually, I'm going to take these four. I'm going to go down and take control of their blood force. These two warriors should be able to tank these three basic ones, no problem. They don't get any, like, yeah, terrain advantages or anything. Your followers are under attack. Oh, I have a fifth one. Okay, let's bring him down too. This guy's on his way. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. Shit. 
See? Sneaky golem got there. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. Alright, warriors, get out of there so you don't blow the building by accident. Ooh. Enemy Basil Golem has been killed. I got fucking cleric monopoly on this guy. Wow, you got the heal on him. Enemy warrior has been killed. There you go. Your warrior has been killed. Enemy basil golem has been killed. Enemy warrior has been killed. Alrighty. Probably a couple units standing up there. Pretty healthy, actually. So I'll use these guys. This B team, they're going to hunt down the remainder. Just so these basic golems can't, like, just Your warrior butt is rush ready. and escape. Your warrior is ready. Must be actually out of a mana now. Look at this, not healing at all. Wow. That's madness. Do another quick save, just to be safe. I'd really rather not do this level again. Next level's gonna be much smoother, honestly, because I'm gonna have stone golems. I'm gonna be able to, like, even research. Paladins and shit, slowly. I have options. Ranger has been killed. Some ranger up here. And a cleric. They just had all these, like, tanky dudes just chilling up there, like... Wow. Well. No more heals. Alright, this has to be it. Warrior has been killed. That's it! Ho oh. ho! Alright, thanks for bearing with me for that massive level, and I'll uh, see you guys later.